YouTube is the new Akame. No, <laughs> that's, a, I, that's a dumb, that's a dumb intro. I'm not gonna lie to. You. I, I mean, I'm not putting my actual intro into this video because I don't want it to, you know, I don't want it to have that, that shit. This, this video don't really deserve to have that shit because this is like a whole for real, like a whole serious video. And I did make, I mean, I did make, I did make a video explaining how my first channel was terminated for no reason. And that YouTube basically said, fuck me because of, I'm not a big enough YouTuber or a YouTuber that makes no money to even give a fuck about, you know, giving my shit back, even though they unrightfully terminated it. But yeah, also one more thing, if you don't know what a comic got kill is, well then, Go watch it because it's an anime. Otherwise, you you won't you won't understand why I said that YouTube is the new comment. Like, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hello there, and this is a video that I'm doing because well, I just I I just recently I just got home from work. As of this recording right now, this audio recording and probably the gameplay recording, I I literally just got home from work after you know, cause my my my, my job wants to be on some bullshit, but. Yeah, I got home and fucking Markiplier made a video explaining, I'm like, this was before I clicked on it. I saw the title, I'm like, oh, I got diggity damn. If you know Markiplier made another video, well, I don't even know if he did make a, vi a, a video about this recently, too. I can't remember because, you know, my brain is small, but uh, yeah, he made a video and it basically was explaining how basically he was live streaming this one day. And it was for and it was his the I think high school market flyer shit that he did long ago. He was live streaming it for with with the people that was watching him to basically you know have them choose where to go, and the way he has has them choose their like choose which way to go is that basically you spam a certain emote like he he literally said that you can spam it now this is not his fault because youtube i mean youtube is youtube they don't know how to fucking do that shit right and like i said my shit was terminated with for no reason and they didn't even let me get it back or even tell me the actual reason why it was terminated it was just so blink and so stupid like i i, I was like oh two days ago i was doing a live stream to explain a heist with markiplier it has choices so i had people voting on which way they wanted to go with emotes that i have for members one red paddle one a green paddle I would pick which way to go, and then they would spam that emote. That is the only reason that hundreds of people's accounts in my community have been banned. Completely. Not exaggerating, that is the only reason. Yeah, basically, after that, basically in that stream, motherfuckers was getting their shit banned permanently because of that. And it's not like, like I said, it's not his fault because even he didn't even know this shit was going to happen. He didn't know YouTube was literally just going to come out the woodworks and literally fuck people in the anus for this. It's fucked as hell because it's like, you motherfuckers basically get banned. I mean, I can see where it makes sense because you do get motherfuckers who like just spam the most dumbest shit but then at the same time them same people who spam the most dumbest shit them motherfuckers don't get banned on youtube live like on on someone's youtube live and shit they don't get banned off of that shit you know how, and you know what's funny you know how many sex box sex bots is on this fucking you on its own youtube and these motherfuckers don't do jack shit to prevent these shits from just staying on the platform, like, I swear to God, I came across, I, I, I mean, it doesn't happen anymore, surprisingly, but it would be a good couple times where a whole sex bot would just post some bullshit talking about some retarded ass link and shit, and I'm just like, but my first channel got banned for no reason type shit, you know what I mean, like, that shit was, that shit is so ridiculous, so I have to, so me, myself, I have to personally ban them, well, well, I mean, hiding the motherfucker from the channel is basically banning them from the channel and shit. But it's like, shit like that is like, okay, so you can let that shit slide, but you can't fucking, you can't fucking enforce your rules right. You can't, you can't fucking leave motherfuckers alone who's trying to enjoy themselves, especially when it comes to someone like Market Fire who everybody loves, bro. Even I watch this man's videos, this man's videos is top tier entertainment 
and mo and YouTube is fucking this man's career up on well not his career. <laughs> what the fuck I'm talking about? Fuck just fucking his fans on purpose. And the funny part is he even he he also even mentions that the motherfuckers who do like that did get their stuff back within like a couple minutes after getting it back, it basically gets re terminated again. And the fun and the craziest part is the whole Google account is also disabled, which I think, which is also what happened to my stuff, because when my first channel got terminated for no reason, <laughs> Susan, uh, yeah, my whole Google account for that shit was just not able to work anymore. Anything I had tied to it, games, all of that, it was basically gone. And it's not just people's YouTube accounts. And that's bad enough because people are losing their videos that they've made. They're, they're losing all their, their, their history and their watching. They've, they're losing their memberships that they have paid money for. People who have been a member of my channel for over a year are losing their accounts. And it's not just the YouTube account. It's the entire Google account. Their entire Google account is disabled. Google account disabled. Google account disabled. Google account disabled. It's so unbelievably frustrating. And it's not just that it's causing a problem, technologically speaking, this is people's livelihoods. This is their entire account. What are they gonna explain to their boss? Oh, sorry, I can't get into my Google account. I was at a Markiplier live stream. Here's, oh, this is heartbreaking. Someone got an appeal. They were unsuspended and then immediately resuspended 30 minutes later. That means there are people looking at this and they are manually going at it and they're like, oh yeah, this is not a problem. And then someone else swoops in and is like, oh wait, no, that was a problem. Let's, let's cancel this all again. It would be bad enough if this was all an automated system working, but the appeal system is run through by people. And what gets me even more upset is that YouTube on Twitter, people are reaching out to YouTube and they are asking, why are my accounts banned? I am trying to appeal and their only response is appeals are very carefully reviewed. If your appeal is rejected, there's nothing more that we can do. I tell you, nothing pissed me off more than that. Not a thing. No motherfuckers, motherfuckers gonna be trying to cuss your tones on you. You don't know how to do your job type shit, and you gotta tell them like, bro, it's not my fault. My shit got my my shit got disabled because this this fucking platform of demons call youtube i'm saying a platform of demons because i mean we all know there's demons on here but just just stick with me here like the plant like just you know what i'm saying like that shit is fucking on motherfuckers job like even and if even if they job isn't youtube it's fucking up their jobs in terms of the outside world like bro motherfucker my motherfuckers should be in the office and shit and they can't even get into this shit because of that bro it's like what i said youtube youtube need to do some shit like I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm sticking to what I said before in the one video when I was explaining how my first channel got terminated for no reason. Susan needs to just get knocked out of our fucking position. Hey, somebody needs to take a position, and it has to be somebody that knows how to fucking make YouTube a, a actual good platform. Because I don't even I don't really see Susan doing anything good right now. Like as far as I see it, Susan's probably making it worse more than fucking better. Like, <laughs> like the shit that, like, it's, it's honestly ridiculous, bro. And I don't want my, and I really don't, I don't want this channel to get terminated either because, like I said, bro, I put five years into the channel. I'm probably gonna hit 1,000 videos before I hit 1,000 subscribers. And that's a fact because if you look at, if you go on my channel right now, you will see how, you will see the video count of how many videos I have and then you look at my subscriber count. You can, you will be able to, and you have to actually look through like, you know, all the, the, the entire like 500 some videos to understand. Like, I've been doing this shit for a while now. And if my, if my shit were to just get terminated, I spent five years on this channel. Five years. Five years of 500 and something videos uploaded on this channel from, you know, upgrading from a phone to a laptop, to this big ass, this, this beautiful ass PC that I over time had to deal with some deal complications with, but it's now at a good place, you know what I'm saying, like, I would honestly be upset, I would, it, I would just, if that happens, I would be looking at my PC and like, 
I don't even know if I'm worth, I don't even know if it's worth enough. <laughs> like, I don't want to feel like that, bro. I got this PC because of the video shit. I got this PC, these dual monitors, this fucking microphone, is this entire fucking desk to hold everything because my, my floor is carpet. So, you know, fuck carpet, but I got all of this for video purposes. And at the same time, I do want to, like, enjoy my games, but it's like I... I have, I have the urge to make videos. Like, I have the urge to make videos. Ain't no way I'm going to sit here and look at my PC and then see that my shit is turning. And like, oh, well, I guess I'll just keep playing my game. No, because I'm going to. And then I got a whole, I got two Elgato. I got a fucking external Elgato that I use for, like, you know, other shit in case. And then I have a PCIe Elgato. The uh fucking, I forgot what version. I forgot what it was, but. I got that one. I got that one too. And that's a PCIe one. So that's inside. That's directly inside of my PC right now. And that's the. Bro, ain't no way I'm going to sit here and, you know, get banned. And then, like, no. Because this time, this time, if I were to get banned, I'm going to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. I'm really just. I'm, I might cry for real. Because they could. <laughs> I put five years in this channel. You're not going to just delete. You're not going to ban five years worth of content that I put into this shit because of some stupid shit that your bots want to make in a. Make as a mistake. And then. He, real human beings who come and look at it and then they be like, oh no, he don't deserve his shit. He ain't he, he's not making he's not making us any money. He's not even in the fucking partner. He's not even in the partner program. Fuck him. Like, no, bro. I'm not I'm not I'm not with the shits. I will go through the ends of the earth to get my shit back. Right if I have to be reckless or not, because like I said, I spent five years on this shit. I you I be damned if that shit happens. Especially since Especially since I, I honestly do want to be a YouTuber. I want to be able to make money doing this shit. I spent five years on this. Five years of my time took in that I could have put somewhere else. And I put it only in YouTube. And I've, I'd be damned that that shit happens. I'm not doing Twitch like that because I'm not, I don't get enough people to watch me like that to actually make money on Twitch like that. You know, fucking e-boy type shit. Eager, you know what I'm saying? But... YouTube, YouTube is what I started with. YouTube is what I want to make in reality to as a you know a career at some point. You know what I'm saying? I want that to be an actual thing. And if I were to get terminated, I honestly would just cry. But I will. I will, if I, I will force my I will force myself to get my shit back, bro. I don't care where my subscriber count is. I will force myself to get it back because I'm not about to sit here and take that L, bro. I'm not taking that L because YouTube wants to wants to be lazy with fixing their shit. Because instead of being actual humans and fix their shit, you know, being you know being responsible for their stuff. Oh my god, bro! This 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 kind of this kind of makes me feel like my fucking job right now because even my job on some bullshit. I'm not gonna bring that into this because that's that's a whole separate issue. But these motherfuckers, they probably get they probably get the joy of banning motherfuckers for no reason because since nobody knows who they are, they feel they feel so protected that no matter what they do, it's not it's you know nobody ain't gonna say nothing to them because they don't know who they are. And they, and I guarantee you, if motherfuckers knew who they who they were and they know. And they know who the fuck, you know, rejected they shit like this in the first place. And after they did the oopsie, the, the, the saddest oopsie in history, they be scared as hell because they have to look over their shoulder over and over again of like if somebody's going to run up on them because I'm just being real here. You fucking up motherfuckers livelihood like and you fuck up the wrong motherfuckers livelihood. They might just look they might just be coming after you. And I'm I'm saying that with facts like it's not. Oh shit. I'm going to jump my phone like it's not going to be me. I'm not threatening nobody. So if somebody try to say that I'm threatening somebody. I ain't threatening nobody. But I'm just saying. You don't know the fire you're playing with messing with motherfucker shit like this because you want to get some kind of laugh out of it or you just want to feel like you're doing your job. Because you ain't even doing your job for real. You're doing the opposite. You you fucking up your job. Like, what the... That makes no sense. You fucking up motherfuckers' potential chances of making money because of a fucking stream that a very popular YouTuber is doing and it's trying to enjoy it with their fucking community. And for them to just get banned because of spam. But not even in the bad spam. It was it's literally in the good like good spam. Like he he literally said to spam it. And motherfuckers getting banned for it. 
But then you got motherfuckers like, and it's like what he said in the video too. You got motherfuckers who be asking for glizzy pics and shit. You know, like dingle, like a whole whole fucking man dingo and glizzle and, and fucking uh, dingleberry ass fucking pictures and shit over and over again, spamming it back to back to back, and them motherfuckers don't get banned. And all of that shit. They don't. And saying the most wildest. And saying the most wildest shit. You can ever imagine. And they still don't get banned bro. But then. Shit like this. Where they just trying to have. Motherfuckers trying to have fun. And spamming is okay. Just for the purpose of the stream. Because that's what's allowed in the stream. That's what the streamer allowed. And they just get banned. over Just for for that. Like that shit makes no sense. But people, their entire account suspended for spamming an emote. There are people that post entire ASCII pictures of dicks in live chat all the time. They don't get their account suspended. Why my fans? Why my most dedicated fans who are there for me through thick and thin decide that they want to support what I do and they get their entire account suspended? Like I said, I know where the spam shit is good for, but it's like, it's not even being used the right way. So at this point, you might as well just remove this shit because motherfuckers is going to be motherfuckers anyway. Like, if, mother if a motherfucker want to say some wild shit... Then the is the streamer can ban them. You know what I'm saying? The streamer can ban them and all that because the system ain't doing shit right now. The system ain't even making this job like actually worth it for real. The job like the the, the system is just being stupid, and it's it's fucking sad, man. Like just honestly, at this point, spam should just be allowed, and is it should be up to the streamer and the streamers moderators to the the you know determine. Who the hell is, is gonna is gonna stay on like be able to stay watching the channel because honestly the system ain't doing shit, bro. You I think you two spend more time not giving a fuck than time giving a fuck because if YouTube actually gave a fuck, the whole platform would actually be way better than now. But because YouTube spending way more time not giving a fuck, the platform is basically like a Kame got killed, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna just go ahead and talk about it. Like we all, we all know how a Kame got killed is. If you watch the anime, you watched it. Like if you, if you grown attached to a specific character, and before you know it, that character will just get killed off either the most brutally way or probably the most hero heroic way, but also at the same time brutally. But YouTube is kind of falling into that little apocalypse right there where basically basically this is this, you like this shit right now that's going on in season one season one is when like we still we still got all our fucking favorite creators and shit but it's only like a good couple of them that well not even a good couple of them but like almost a few thousand of them that's gonna get slaughtered and shit you know banned not be able to get that shit back might be able to get it back you know what I'm saying but most likely won't be able to get it back this is season one season two everything is gonna fall apart it's gonna be an all out it's gonna be an all out war it's gonna be the YouTubers versus Susan and her demons of fucking people at the YouTube headquarters who think they know what the fuck they doing but really they don't know what the fuck they doing and it's gonna be a whole collateral it's gonna be a whole fucking war zone fucking drop in the fur dance because Caldera sucks booty butt cheeks ass fucking shit you know what I'm saying and this is this, 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 we might get a season three. We might get a season three. We would never know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I know I'm going deep into this shit. You just, you just have to understand what I mean by Akame and shit. Because, like, if you watch this, if you watch the anime, you know what I mean, and you know what I mean. But if you don't, if you didn't watch the anime, you just confused as fuck. It's like, what is this motherfucker talking about? <laughs> You're not gonna understand until you watch the show. You have to actually watch this shit to understand where I'm coming from with this. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here. Susan, fix your shit, bro. Make your motherfuckers fix their shit. Make 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 these motherfuckers communicate. Do 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 their actual job, and you know what I'm saying. Just just get get it together, bro. <laughs> like fucking hashtag YouTube, get it together, man. <laughs> For real, bro.